Hi, this is John Gerard with Quail and Homes. I'd like to discuss our electrical walkthrough. We have used our electricians Prairie Electric since 1989. Never have had another electrical company on any of our jobs except them. They're very well versed in how we operate. And the idea of the electrical walkthroughs we have an electrical plan that we've worked with you on and now when we go out to do the job we actually want to have our superintendent there our electrician and if there's a central vacuum involved that company there as well and we want to tie in your electrical plan to actually what's happening physically on the job uh, we'll start first with the garage items we'll let me get this a little bit bigger for us you can see we'll review the garage door opener the freezer plugs if there's a generator how we want to treat that manual or automatic on a generator uh, future electric car charging if you decide ever to use an electric car any type of landscape uh, features whether it's a gate lighting a fountain want to make sure we accommodate for that uh, in the mechanical room we'll uh, address the electrical hookup for wallet water infiltration so you want to filter your water or any type of a system like that for water we want to make sure we're setting up the electrical properly uh, verify the sprinkler system hookups and if it's on acreage the septic panel and type of wiring Number two, the exterior of the home. Want to review the irrigation and the dual living areas on separate circuits. Sometimes people have dual living in their homes and they want to have a separate circuit. Uh, they can have separate power bill going to other part of their home. Uh, Christmas light circuits, extra weather waterproof plugs, floodlights, doorbell button, chime location, uh, driveway lighting, entry posts, landscape conduits. Those kind of items are reviewed on the exterior. Number three, when we get into the interior, all of our rooms are wired for the, the TV and phone location. Want to make sure we talk about that and get those locations exactly where you want them. The electricians will mark this while we're there, there and then they go right to work and wire accordingly. A floor plug, this is typically in a great room. They pre-wire that. And then after you move in, they'll come in and locate it exactly where you want. Sometimes it's hard to do that up front until you have furniture there. So they'll run a wire in the crawl space, have it there ready for you. So once you move in, that floor plug can get uh, put in at that point. Review all the recessed can lights and the fixture locations. Um, Puck lights and fixtures by Prairie, if, if those are there or another vendor, we make sure we have the list and we're, we're verifying that all the lighting fixtures are there. Plug and switch locations in the heights. Any dimmers that you might want besides uh, the great room and dining room, those are standard. Air switch on the island or wall switch. Insta-hot at kitchen sink, verify that. Electric floor heat, sometimes they're doing the electric floor heat in the master bathrooms, and we're just going to discuss that. Low voltage on the central low location where, where that would be. Any a chandelier or box beam blocking, we want to review that. It's on rural property, the well hookup and permanent power on the transfer sequence. Uh, temporary heat hookups, this is while we're drying your home out, we need to have those located. Those are with 220 wiring. Any type of specialty plug location inside cabinets, specialty under cabinet lighting, etc. And if there's stairs, any type of tread lighting. And number four, we would review any type of low voltage and security, a speaker, camera, or security pre wire. And number five would be the central vacuum system where you might want the the registration, the register location, and the valve locations. Uh, thank you for taking your time and reviewing this with us.